Ever wonder why a baseball goes further when you hit it than a softball does? The answer has to do with Newton's second law. So let's remind ourselves what Newton's second law says. The law basically says if an unbalanced force is put on an object, then that object is going to accelerate. So what does acceleration mean? It means speeding up, slowing down, or changing direction. How much force is required can be calculated with the formula F equals MA. Force equals mass times acceleration. When we compare the size of an NCAA baseball field to an NCAA softball field, you can see that the baseball field is a lot larger. And the reason for that is the same person hitting a baseball and a softball will hit the baseball much further. But why? Well, a baseball has a mass of 0 0.14 kilograms, where a softball is a little bit heavier, has more mass, so its mass is 0.2 kilograms. If we take a person who can swing a baseball bat pretty well, they could generate 30,000 newtons of force. I actually looked up how much a Major League Baseball player could, could hit with. How would that affect the acceleration of the ball when it comes off of the bat. So let's compare. Now we have givens for both, right? So we know that the mass of the baseball is 0.14 kilograms. And we said that the force is going to be 30,000 newtons for both. We are trying to find the acceleration and we're going to use the formula F equals MA. So when I substitute these in, I get 30,000 newtons equals mass is 0.14 kilograms times A. How do I get the acceleration to be by itself? I divide 0.14 kilograms. 0.14 kilograms. I definitely cannot do that in my head. So 30,000 divided by 0.14 equals pretty big number, right? A pretty big number. 214,285 meters per second squared. What if we were to try doing that with the softball? Right, it would be a very similar calculation. The mass is 0.2 kilograms. The force is 30,000 again. We're still trying to find the acceleration. Still using F equals MA. In this case, it's 30,000 newtons equals 0.2 times A, divide both sides by 0.2 kilograms, and we end up with the acceleration equals 30,000, 1, 2, 3, divided by 0.2, 150,000 meters per second squared. So what did we just prove here? We showed that there's more acceleration for a baseball. The ball is going to speed up. It's going to get faster, quicker coming off uh, of the bat. Why is that? Because its mass is smaller. And that makes sense to us, right? A smaller ball, something that's lighter, we're going to be able to hit it further. Now, what would happen if we changed the amount of force? Let's say we had two players, one that could hit with 30,000, one who could hit with 20,000. Which would go further? And in this case, we'll, we'll say that they're both hitting a baseball. Which one would go further? And we could probably already guess. If you can hit it with more force, the ball is going to go further. But let's prove that with F equals MA. Now, I wrote down all of the givens here to make things go a little quicker for us. We know the mass is 0.14 for both of them, and the thing that we're changing is the amount of force. So let's skip down to the substitution step. 30,000 
newtons equals 0.14 kilograms times A, divide both sides by 0.14 kilograms, and this is the same calculation that we did before, right? And so the answer is going to come out to be 214,285. 214,285 meters per second squared. Now if I look at this, the, uh, the player hitting with 20,000 newtons, it be the exact same calculation. 20,000 newtons equals 0.14 kilograms times A. Divide both sides by 0.14 kilograms. All right, 20 divided by 0.14. You get 142,000. 857 meters per second squared. So we just proved with the math that this works that if you use less force, if you don't hit the ball as hard, it's not going to go as far. And we knew that, but we just proved it with the math. In summary, if an object has a smaller mass, it's going to accelerate more than an object with a larger mass. Right? Hitting the softball didn't go as fast, it didn't accelerate as much as the baseball did. And if you hit it with a larger force, it's going to accelerate more. And all this seems like a lot of common sense, but they love to ask questions like this. A very common question you'll see on a test is we have three different blocks of different masses. If a, a force, the same amount of force is applied to each, which one will accelerate the most? So the one that will accelerate the most will be the smallest right because the smallest one has the least amount of mass and if we look at the formula it's going to go the fastest so be ready for this they love to ask this kind of question how do I get the acceleration to be by itself 